about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to another Meals of the Week video I cannot believe this is number 50 So for 50 weeks we've been uploading our evening meals on YouTube Which is kind of crazy Two more weeks and it'll have been an entire year of food That's a lot of food this week we've had a sausage bacon and Philly potato bake. There's already a cook with me up for that on this channel. I also made corned beef hash and I filmed that so that will be coming up as a cook with me as well. So if you do like these kind of videos please make sure you go and subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you will be notified when I do upload the cook with me videos that sort of accompany this series if you like. I'll link all the other 49 videos down below. So let's go and take a look at what we've had this week. So quick dinner tonight, the boys have got pizza, new potatoes and cucumber. This is a pepperoni pizza and this one is a Chicago town cheese pizza and it's got the sauce stuffed crust. So this is Bailey's, this one is Jake's and that is Oscar's. So tonight Steve and I are having a salad with some gammon steaks that I bought. Also topped with a little bit of grated cheese so now you can't actually see the salad. Steve's got a few new potatoes in with his as well and a little bit of spicy sauce and salad cream. But yeah, that's what we have for dinner tonight. And I've just chopped up the gammon on top of lettuce, cucumber, tomato and spring onion. All right, so for dinner tonight I have done the boys sweet chilli wraps with lettuce, coleslaw and some black pepper chicken steaks. And then I had some new potatoes left over so I've just chopped them up and sprayed them with fry light and put them in the oven. And then they've got some ketchup in the little pots that I showed in my food haul. These are from uh, Poundland, you get four little buckets. I thought they were really cute. Um, they actually say what's supposed to be in them on the other side. This one says barbecue but I've just turned it around because it's got ketchup. And yeah, I thought they were quite sweet so you get four in a pack for a pound. So that's Bailey or Jake's. This one is Bailey or Jake's, it's the same. The um, new potatoes have come out really crispy and nice actually. And then Oscar's got his, he's got a plain mini wrap and he's got new potatoes and then he's got his lettuce on the side because he likes to pick it up and munch it like that. So that's what the boys have got tonight. So tonight I have made Steve and I a chicken sausage, tomato, mushroom and cauliflower rice dish basically. <laughs> Um, and all I've put in there to season it is garlic and onion powder, I've used some soy sauce, some chilli flakes and a little bit of smoked paprika. So this is what we are having for our dinner tonight and I'm just about to dish that up. So for dinner tonight I've made a chicken and broccoli pasta, all I've done is boiled some pasta and some broccoli and I've cooked some chicken in the oven with some chicken seasoning on and then I've mixed the pasta and the broccoli together with a little bit of butter, salt, pepper and some grated cheese and then I've topped it with the chicken and a little bit more grated cheese. So this one is Oscar's, this one is Jake's, this one is Bailey's. Then we've got a garlic and cheese pizza bread, I think this one is from Tesco. And then we've got mine and we've got Steve's. This is one of our most simple favourite meals. It's so simple and it's really, really quick to do. And it's one of those that you can just throw together out of things you've got in the freezer. So this is what we've got tonight, chicken and broccoli pasta. So for tonight's dinner I made the sausage, bacon and cream cheese potato bake. There is already a cook with me up on this channel for this. I will link it down below. It's also in our playlist of cook with me's. This was such an easy recipe and it came out really well. Somebody's messaged me since they've made it with chicken. Other people are going to try it with vegetarian sausages. But the basis of just the potato, cream cheese and stock is a really, really simple one. So I'm definitely going to be putting this on the regular meal plan. I do think next time I make it, I might do it in individual oven dishes just for presentation's sake. You know, I'm like for making things look pretty and this looks anything but pretty. But like I said, it went down really, really well and we all really enjoyed it. So I'd probably serve it maybe with some broccoli or peas and sweet corn or something next time. And there's so many things you could add to it. You could put peppers in it or you could put broccoli actually in the dish. So yeah, really versatile and check out the recipe if you want to have a go because it doesn't take very long at all. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and it's actually only, well there you go, it's 10.41 but Oscar has gymnastics tonight and the boys need to eat reasonably early so that has time to digest. So I was going to do a roast gammon this week, we just buy this smoked gammon joint from Tesco, it serves five people, like you can see it's really cheap, £3.26. 
um, and you just put it in the oven wrapped in foil for an hour and 45 minutes and then slice it like you would a normal joint of beef or lamb and um, we have it with roast potatoes cauliflower broccoli gravy anything you'd have with a roast dinner i'm only mentioning that because um, somebody said about how do i do a roast gammon and it literally is just roast it in the oven tells you how long to do it for and we just always serve it with the same things we would roast dinners i don't think roast dinners always have to be like a joint or a chicken sometimes we just have our sausage meat stuffing sometimes we just have sausages with it i'll get back to what i'm actually doing i've decided to put this in the slow cooker again I've got some of these um maggie or is it maggie maggie bags and what i'm going to do is not use the bag but it's just a smoky barbecue powder and I'm going to put the gammon in the slow cooker. I'm going to add the powder, put a little bit of balsamic vinegar, some tomato puree just to make a little sauce. And then I'm just going to let it cook slowly. I've got some new potatoes in the cupboard that need using up and we've got loads and loads of pickles and things. So I might do that with it or I might make wedges. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to pop this in now. <laughs> I've just looked in the cupboard and I haven't got any balsamic vinegar left for some reason. So I'm going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes or peeled plum tomatoes instead, just to give it a little bit of liquid because um, that seasoning is really quite strong. These are really good tomatoes, by the way. You can't see them there. They're really good. Look how thick. Focus. Look how thick the sauce is on those. It's like hardly very runny at all. It's almost like a tomato puree. So anyway, I'm just going to pop those in. And I might add a little bit of water just to rinse out the can. And I will just chop up those tomatoes a little bit, give it a little mix round. And then I'll just keep checking on it. If I need to add more liquid later on, I will, but I'm trying, the thing with slow cookers is you can it really easily add too much liquid and obviously it doesn't boil off. At the end of cooking you can always put a clean tea towel over the top underneath the lid that will absorb some of the moisture or you can take the lid off for the last half hour to hour of cooking but if you add way too much liquid then there's not much you can do. So I'm going to chop these up and mix it around a little bit and then I'm going to pop it on. So here is the gammon dished up. I've just done it with some baby new potatoes, some raw carrot sticks, some beetroot, some gherkins, and I poured a little bit of the sauce on. So this one is Bailey's. And then we've got Jake's and Oscar's. And Steve and I are going to have ours with some salad in a little bit when he gets home from work. And Steve and I are just having ours with salad. So that is Steve's. It's got lettuce cucumber tomato and spring onion and that is mine and that's what we've got for dinner tonight i've just run back over to film mine with the dressing on i've put a little bit of light mayonnaise some frank's red hot wing sauce and some salt and pepper but i said to steve it looked really dry and boring and it looks much better now so here's my salad again with a bit of sauce dinner tonight I have made corned beef hash so I have just made a cook with me video on this which will be either up on our channel if it is I'll link it down below if it's not up yet then it will be up shortly so this is Bailey's this is Jake's because as everybody in the whole world seems to know he doesn't like mash he's grinning at me over there and then this is Oscar's so I hope you've enjoyed this meals of the week if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below make sure you go and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in our next video this is what we waited for